question about if there was anything you would recommend for a reoccurring sinusitis. Um, yeah, again, just to qualify this, um, if it's if it's in pregnancy, that changes what we would recommend for people. Yeah. So you know, but this I, person I didn't actually say. So yeah, so just just we'll talk about somebody who's maybe pregnant first, because that's that's the gist of your of your um, conversation. Um, taking any medication when you're pregnant is you have to do it with extra caution. Okay, so. Recurrent sinusitis, um, it, you know, it, it's something that would need medical intervention, as in we would probably recommend some medication there. So if, if your customer or your, your, the person who asked the question is pregnant, we would probably wouldn't recommend any, you know, medication, oral medication for that, that patient. What we would do is we would talk to them about their history, what they've, they've done to date to 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 try and treat the sinusitis. If it's recurrent, they may have had antibiotics, they may have used nose sprays, they may have tried nasal rinses and that sort of stuff. So um, if, it, if if they're pregnant, uh, unfortunately, we wouldn't be going down a drug drug method, but there are loads of non-drug um, options available. There's an anil made rinse, which is a, a saline rinse that mm-hmm. would, could give relief. There's a uh, stirring more is, is a nasal spray as well. You know, um, there's inhalations the like of Albus oil, Vicks, you know, simple stuff where you could actually steam and try and clear your things like that. But if it's recurrent, I'd be very surprised if they haven't had some medical intervention at some stage, either with be it a GP or, or a consultant. Um, and if they're pregnant, unfortunately, there's very little medication. Yeah. Um, we could recommend. But there is, there is sort of um, practical stuff that they can do. To sort of leave that so yeah. no no rinses no sprays um etc one thing margaret that we, i would like to just sort of touch on there is that you know a lot of people come in to me at the same year and say oh it's an awful head cold it's as saying you said it's me, me nose is running my nose is back, blocked and they don't actually realize that they may be suffering from hay fever symptoms of sinusitis symptoms yeah. of um, runny nose blocked nose um runny eyes at this time of the year, can be very easily confused um, with uh, a grass pollen allergy or pollen allergy of some breed. So, um, you know, it's just something to consider if you're suffering from sinusitis and you only have it at a certain time of year or you only had it at a certain, you know, when you're in a certain part of the garden or, yeah. in a, or walk in a certain park or whatever, that it could well be some breed of allergy. So it's just something to think about that might... might yeah, maybe something to d- they could right document, too. like you just said, um, document Absolutely. when they get it, the time of the year, where they've been. You know, there could be a yeah. trigger and it could be an allergy rather than... Yeah, it could be an allergy rather to. than... They could be going around, around in circles looking for a solution here, yeah. when it could be something really simple. Yeah. Um, so that's just, just something on the sinusitis there. It's um, a really good, really good tip. Okay.